It's time now for our McCafe coffee catch-up, all thanks to McDonald. McDonald's Macca's Boo Buckets are available in Happy Meals. Now, it is our pleasure to welcome into Talking W Fremantle star Ash McCarthy. Welcome to the show, Ash. Thanks for having me, guys. Now, a handy win over the weekend, 30 points over the Giants and three handy goals from yourself. Uh, how do you reflect on that game? Yeah, um, it was a great win for the team. It was a really important win. Um, so I think we, yeah, we've solidified our place in the um, top eight now, which is really nice heading into our last home and away game. But um, yeah, we're just delighted that we could put out a good performance. And obviously now we're going back in tonight to reflect on the game, review it. And obviously there'll be plenty to improve on um, for Bulldogs this weekend as well. Yeah, well, you've been a key feature of Frio's season all year and you guys are travelling really well. It looks like, and I know it's one week at a time in football, but it looks like this could be your first finals berth personally. How exciting is that and how have you thrived in this role that they've given you at the Dockers? Yeah, it's going to be uh, my first finals. Um, so I've been in the system for seven seasons now, so it's taken quite a while. So it's um, really exciting, I suppose, to get to finals. And, um, yeah, obviously we've taken it week by week, but I'm just loving the environment at Frio. It's such an all-in mentality and everyone just really wants to put their best foot forward and play their role. And um, I think, yeah, real clarity from Lisa Webb and the coaches on what my role is for the team and bringing my strengths. So um, that's just what I try to do each week. And at the weekend, um, I had a few moments, a few opportunities, and I was just delighted I was able to take them for the team. In terms of this weekend, what do you, you're not at finals yet, but what has the advice been from the coaches heading into this weekend against the Dogs and finals? Yeah, so um, we'll obviously review the game tonight um, and take some key aspects of what we need to improve on. And Bulldogs have shown over the last couple of weeks if you bring the pressure um, that, you know, they're a formidable side. So we won't be taking them lightly at all and we'll obviously do our homework on them during the week. Um, but, yeah, I think the main thing is just about bringing our pressure, bringing our strengths. And I think um, something we focus on is just starting off the first contest and um, trying to get those good starts because I think that's something that we struggled on early on in the season. And the last two games, we've had um, good starts, which has then set us up well to get the win. So I think th those things are things we'll be focusing on this weekend as well. And just quickly before you go, we know a lot of the Irish families are out at the moment and your family is one of those. And we just got something from the weekend and this is oh your God. mum with her new <laughs> favourite player. Is that correct? Do we think that when you head home to Ireland in the off-season that this might be on the fridge? Oh, my God. How did you even get that photo? <laughs> um, yeah, my mum, she's a big fanatic, um, loves AFLW. Um, obviously, one of my, my number one fan, but, uh, yeah, she... Also admires a lot of the players around the competition. So um, I think I actually, uh, me and Gabby Newton went over to say uh, well done to Bella Lewis after their game against Sport. And I left my mum by herself and she ended up getting a photo with Jim Houghton. So um, that was meant to stay uh, within the four walls of Frio, but obviously <laughs> it's been leaked. So um, yeah. <laughs> Kate has um, always. I, <laughs> I, I won't be revealing my sources either. <laughs> <laughs> like a good journalist. Now, thank you for joining us, Ash, for our McCafe Coffee Catch Up. You'll receive a $50 McCafe F Post voucher as a thanks for your time here today. Best of luck this Sunday against the dogs in Perth. Thanks a million. Thank you.